So I'm in San Saba, cleaning out this storage room because my mom's getting ready to sell this house. We put our, everything outside. We're loading it up in the van. Trey's work van. My dad already got stung by a wasp. We lost his glasses. Well, it's right here. Oh, you lost your glasses when you, uh... Well, I don't know where in the hell they are. God dang, whoop! <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't want you close to them. Hope that thing shoots far. It does. Drown them. Wants to keep things that have been here for 40 years. I think that's still a good. I'm sure it still turns. Listen. Here, we'll put it right here for now. Sit it right over there. I need to get some kind of a belt. How the hell did you get a belt? About 1971. That old saxophone. It was my trombone from when I played seventh, eighth grade. CB radio. It's on my mom and dad's tennis trophies. Look at that. 1976. First place. We were the champions. You guys were good, huh? We were good. I had to be good or daddy'd get mad. <laughs> so this stuff was used for Spraying pecans. Spraying pecans. Insecticide. It's illegal now, probably, right? Yep. <laughs> I've got another can of it in there. It's uh, I may well, let's go. It probably, it's probably a it's go container full of cancer now. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder I don't have it. I know you never wore a mask. Too hot. Didn't breathe. That's the storage shed? Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. We're basically just moving it from one storage shed to another. There's snakes in there. There's your other lost guitar. Oh, there's quite a bit of room in there. TV. Oh my god, there's snakes in there. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> this chair you throw away. What the hell are they doing here? It's horrible. I thought the moped was in here. I'm surprised the moped's even alive anymore. <sighs> Woo! Oh god! Musty Chemi smell? Musty chemical smell. You smell oh, it? It smells like some alive. Boy, that chair. Probably leech in. That damn chair needs to be out of here. Yeah, that chair can go in the trash. Our golden wedding anniversary. Who the hell was it? Who's that? Belton. Nine. That's you when you were? Maybe. Eleven weeks old. Eleven weeks old. This right here is Mama Shaw and Pap's 50th wedding. wedding. Uh, no. Uh. Mom. <laughs> this is This is Grandmother and Granddad Sparkman's 50th wedding celebration. Never been open since then. Who is that? Look at these records. Run through the jungle. Look at this one. It's like a paper record. <laughs> we know Jesus. Oh, that's Jerry Ann Johnson. Simon and Garfunkel. Yeah. He dated her. I saw Norman Greenbaum. Spirit in the Sky. Yeah. Spirit in the Sky. That's, that's JR. Uh huh. And what was her name? Shanda? Shanda, yeah. We did reach the way. <laughs> well, I can't imagine why Glennis wasn't too good at it. Any evidence? Yeah, we did. Scrap Scrapbook. These are my first little doll dishes. This is my graduation stuff. This is the rats got into our stuff over at, out at Grandma's house one time. And I had a bunch of stuff. This is all that was left. Oh, this has got my old. Maybe it has some money in it. Look. Didn't know money, but these are all my pictures hmm. from high school. Wow. People. Wow. I'm going to keep that. What did we find in here? Yeah. Let's see. Incriminate. Incriminate. Who, who's that? Well, that was my high school date at the whatever that was, prom. <laughs> oh, look here. Yeah. 
That's you? Mm -hmm. What grade was that? I'm assuming that was probably uh, jun junior or senior in high school. I'm taking this box home with me. Who's that? Oh, that your girlfriend too? Ex girlfriend, I guess. <laughs> all the girls, all the ones that got away, isn't it? <laughs> Thank God. God, God bless them. They're looking for me. Thank God. That's all my old friends. They're dead now, most of them. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Can we reminisce in the cool somewhere? Uh uh. Later. He's dead. Larry just, Jean's in really bad shape. Why don't you just point out the ones that are still alive? It'd be easier. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I don't know if Greg's still alive. I don't know who that is. You're He's dead. Yeah, that's the same story. He hadn't left many alive. Yeah. yeah. Hell, I was taller than most of them, wasn't I? Yeah. He was big and didn't know it. Yeah. 145 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just finished taking junk from one house. To this house and now we're going to go what's left in this is going to go well we're gonna go up to my mom's house they have a storage shed in the back we're gonna get a bunch of stuff out of that put it in the back of the van take it to another house it's gonna be stored there until my mom has a garage so we're just like shuffling junk back and forth back and forth that's what we're doing This is the other house, which is my grandmother's old house, which uh, is where we're bringing all this stuff for my mom to have a garage sale. It's right on the main street, San Saba. Got a Dairy Queen over there. Cactus Cafe used to be over there, but it, I don't know if they tore it down or it burned down. But we're gonna go in, unload all this stuff. So that's, that's like a little extra extra room that was added on. And here's a bathtub. So we're gonna bring all this stuff in this house. So check this, check this bass out. Now this bass was my bass player, Macario's bass in high school. Actually, somebody made it in shop class out of two two by sixes and found the neck of a bass and made this bass, but it weighs like 50 pounds. So we're back over at the High and Dry house, which is the house that when I was selling, we're getting some more stuff out of it. And uh, there was a couch inside the storage shed that uh, we pulled out. And instead of taking it somewhere and selling it or throwing it away, we just set it here and hopefully somebody will come pick it up. So this was my grandparents' house back when I was a kid. They had a house in the country, but they also had a house in town because my grandmother did like uh, sewing, she had like a sewing shop here. And uh, so they had this house they would, where they would stay sometimes and then she would work out of and they had another house way out of Bend. So then eventually my parents bought this house and they've had it since oh, probably mid nineties, I guess. All right, let me show you real quick. So this is the house my mom's selling that my grandparents lived in. This house over here was the house that I grew up in. I think we moved there when we were 12, when I was 12. And I lived there until I was 20, moved to Waco. And then a year or two after that, my parents bought this house and moved over here. So when they moved, we just brought stuff from this house, around the fence, into this house. That's what we did. I haven't been in that house since we left. I wonder what it looks like. It looks totally different on the outside now, I know that. Every time I need to be videoing, I'm not videoing. <laughs> We go to move this barbecue pit, it's filled with a wasp nest. So I say we just leave it there. Yeah. Oh, we're back over at the, I don't know what, what we're calling this house. My grandma's house. Right on Main Street, it's the Main Street house maybe. 
It's like a bench. How, how did how did Mamaline get those rocks? Like Who did that? Hmm. I like how you, you decide to show up after we're done. What? I like how you show up after we're done. Well, I had other uh, things to do. <laughs> I got us a watermelon. Breaker Breaker 1-9, get your ears on, come back. That's a big 10-4, good buddy.